Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So today we're gonna to do a review of the Jordan 3, some people call it Georgetown or just Midnight Blue. I'm just gonna call it Midnight Blue. Let's go. Okay, so today, like I said, so we all know last year or two years, Jordan's just been going nuts. Jordan 1 seemed to be the ones who were going crazy for some reason. But after Jordan 1 came the Jordan 3s, okay? And it had the bubble in it. It had the Air Max unit or whatever you call it. But me, it was the bubble in it. And you could see it in the trainer. And that was the one. But no, I couldn't afford them. Different silhouettes. I think the red, the fire red one or infrared one was the one that came out. And it's like, oh my God, that's the one. So as time's gone on, they've re-released, re-released. I think back in 2018, Jordan collabed with their college, I think they call them PEs, with Georgetown. Now what they've done on the 27th of March this year, the day after Air Max Day, they released new Jordan 3, Midnight Blue, I think they call it, but I know a lot of people are referring it to the Jordan 3 Georgetown. Okay, 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 okay. So before I forget, because I always forget to do this, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. When you like, I know you've liked the video. When you subscribe, I know you like what the contents I'm putting out there. And when you hit the notification bell, that tells you when I've uploaded a new video which in the grand scheme of things makes me carry on doing what I'm doing, which I'm hoping you're enjoying. So please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get straight into this. We've got the typical Jordan 3 box with the cement black and gray coat all the way around the box, jump man in the middle, and there is nothing really else to report the box. It's the standard night stuff underneath. The details say, Jordan, sorry, Air Jordan 3 Retro, Midnight Navy Stroke White. Inside the box, again, you've got the white cement gray paper, which you always have. And the first Jordan you see, put it over here. Ta-da! So straight out of the box, you get blue laces on top of the white. I don't, I cannot remember if Jordan 3's ever gave you extra laces. I, I haven't bought some for so long, I, you know. Uh, these are the blue, and let, let's start with the other one. So this is wrapping around all the time, be easy to go. So let's do what we always do. Let's start with the sole. Typical Jordan 3 sole. You've got the navy blue patch right there under the ball of your foot. The gray travels all the way around. On the instep, you've got a white background with the title brand Jordan just there as you can see. If we go to the midsole, you've got a white midsole which stops just around the beginning of the hill and just before the air bubble, turns into navy blue and that carries on around. That white midsole carries on around to the toe of the shoe and above that is an overlay with the, I call it, they call it grey ceramic or grey cement pattern at the top covering the toe of the shoe and it goes completely around. On top of that, around the side, you have a smooth leather. The material is quite nice, I'm gonna be honest with you. You have a smooth leather, which is overlaid on top of the tumbled leather 
effect on top now that's quite nice. i felt better but it's cool it, it is quite nice you're not going to feel too you know like you've been cheated with this material they've used here on top of that just where the laces are you've got a nice grace perforated swedish type leather and with three plastic navy blue hooks for the tongues there that same leather hair carries on up around the heel the perforated grey as you can see okay and that's exactly the same underneath as i just shown you the tongue itself is complete is just a smooth grey the same color same material but not perforated and you've got navy blue jump man on top the inside of the shoe is a grayish navy blue but i think that's because the type of material it is and then on the again around the heel it's just all grey and inside there's on the sole, you've got the jump man. Whoops, sorry. As you can see, I can't take the insult, inner sole out, but that's all what's there. There's nothing else on that. If we now carry on around to the heel, you'll see an overlay of the cement gray on top and that carries around the heel, dips in the middle to allow the jump man and the air sign, and you've got the traditional horizontal lines. It's like a pulley for the heel, but I've never used it if I'm one of you. I think it's just a can't call it gimmick design of the shoe. Need it, use it if you need to use it. I haven't. And that's it. I honestly think these look better with the blue laces. That's just my preference. I think it just goes hand in hand, keeps that white, just keep the white at the bottom. At first I didn't like these, I didn't want to get them. Um I ended up managing to get a pair, which I didn't think I would. But within minutes, they were all gone. I mean, so many shops had them and they're all gone. European shops like Soulbox had them and SNS had them and they were gone and you couldn't get them. And now I think they're all going for resale. I think there was a little hype over them at first, like on StockX, they jumped a bit, but that's always going to happen day after resale because they know you can't get them anymore. But people call down and go, nah, I'm not paying that amount of money for this. So... I think they're one of those ones, if you've got your hands on them, you're not going to be unhappy with it because it's a nice colour, it can go with anything. Um, like I said to you, I wasn't too sure at the beginning, but now this is in hand, this is quite a decent, nice colour. I know, like I said to you, in 2018 they released these for George Down. I don't know what PE means, but obviously it's George Down College in America. These must be the colours of Georgetown, I don't know, people let me know in the comments. <clears throat> but... It's a nice kick. It's a Jordan 3. The silhouette is the silhouette. You, there's not much more I can say about it, if I'm honest with you. Um, it just does a nice a nice job. And there's no quality control issues from the kicks I've got. Um, I haven't seen any reports of any control issues. Like when they released the Jordan 4 Fire Reds, oh, there was so much... You know, there'd be dents in the leather and the red had bleed, bled into the white and things like that. But these are a solid, solid, solid pair of trainers. And yeah, if you like this colour, you won't go wrong. If you like Jordan 3s, you're not going to go wrong. And if you like Jordan Brown, like everyone seems to like them, you're not going to go wrong. In terms of sizing, it's true to size. Like every other Jordans, I know sometimes it looks like it. No need to go up or down a size on these ones. Um, the fit, the comfort is a comfort of a basketball boot. Made back in the day is, you know, you're not going to, not really spongy. You know, it, it it's just comfortable. If you like that feel, you're going to be cool. I mean, they've probably got a bit more jumping them than Jordan 1s, but that's to be expected because Jordan 1s haven't got the air bubble. If they have, I don't know about them. But yeah. Here we have it. Jordan 3, Navy Blue, or Georgetown. Released on 27th of March, day after Air Max Day. Peace. Peace.